Hello folks, this is basically a ham radio for 18 quid. Absolutely unbelievable, and it works. I'm quite impressed with it. So Banggood very kindly sent this to me. It's an ATS minus 20 plus, <laughs> or an ATS dash 20 plus. Um, it covers FM, AM, medium wave, short wave, uh, single side bands, a uh, low, lower side band, and upper side band. All of the controls are really quick and easy to access on the front of it. We've got band up and down, volume up and down. It was step change, so you can adjust the, the frequency steps, uh, bandwidth change, um, uh, automatic gain control on this button here, and also the mode control here, so you can change between a lower side band, upper side band, and various other different modes. On the back of the unit, it has, I must admit, this is this is the bit that sort of lets it down a little bit. It's a, the aerial is a bit is a bit crappy. Um, and if you and if you put it on its if you need to put it sort of like on a funny angle, it does just ultimately fall over on its own. So, but you know, I mean, at the end of the day, for eighteen quid, if that's the only thing that lets it down, what I did is I <laughs> what I did being a, a ham radio enthusiast, I made my own aerial. It says FM, RDS, stereo, AM, long wave, medium wave, short wave, um, single sideband, DSP receiver. Um, it's got a USB uh, mini jack on it, so that's uh, uh, for downloading, or it says here, perhaps uh, for doing firmware updates. And then it also has a USB-C type, a USB-C charge port on it. And here is the USB-C cable that it comes with, so you can charge it up. It also has, which is quite useful, so you don't annoy the wife in the evenings uh, or your partner, you have the ability to be able to plug some headphones into it as well. It's got um, a sort of a lovely little die-cast style or extruded aluminium enclosure and a lovely grating on the top of the aluminium enclosure here for the speaker. Um, the, the tuning control, all the controls on this are absolutely fine. Why don't we turn it on, actually? Uh, right, so let's pop it on. The one thing I will say, um, the display on this is quite small. So straight away you can hear the static. Let's just pop the volume down a little bit there. The one thing that I will say is I struggle with the size of the display. It's all quite small. It's one of these tiny little OLED displays. Um, and I am sort of struggling to see that. Uh, I've got my glasses on at the moment, so it's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, there's 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 the tuning control. Now here's the other thing that I'm, that that's a little bit annoying. If I just turn the volume up so you can hear it, when I every time I change frequency, it's not a smooth tune. It sort of stops and restarts each time, which is a bit of a shame actually. It would be lovely if, if it didn't have those breaks in there between each tuning stage. But then anyway, um, so if we just go ahead and we press the step button, we can see that the step is now 5 kilohertz, and we can adjust that 10 kilohertz and 1, ki 1 kilohertz. Um, if we change to a different band, so uh, we can see here we're going up the bands. So this is um, uh, 20 meters here, 14 megahertz. Uh, we're getting up towards the CB frequencies, or 10 meters there. Um, and then uh, we pop straight into uh, frequency modulation mode, and then we pop straight into the FM band. And, and it is, it's, it's a lovely little receiver in this device, it's fantastic. There's the aerial problem that I sort of discussed with you, it, it's a little bit annoying that. But um, yeah, uh, so with, with some very basic upgrades, uh, if you get yourself a long wire like this, you can whip that around the back garden or stuff it out your bedroom window, and you're in fine shape for doing some really good shortwave reception work. I was just really impressed. The fact is, this absolutely does work. Certainly, um, I've had it working quite merrily on 20 meters and 40 meters on uh, upper side band and lower side band, AM, uh, 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 the AM medium wave and short wave bands all tune up okay, and the FM band obviously tunes up well. It's really quite a sensitive little receiver. I think what we should probably do is take it apart and have a quick look inside. Hey, Dave, 
All right, let's get the Allen wrench on it then. Knob just slides straight off. That's just a, a spline spindle. And all of the screws and everything just sort of falls apart on you, which is fantastic. So that's nice and easy to do. Um, I didn't realise, but the, uh, the encoder here has a press button on it as well. Basically then, this is the front panel control and display board, and it's actually just a PCB. That's really quite interesting. It is literally just a PCB uh, with components soldered onto it. Um, that's really quite cool. I like the way they've done that, actually. Uh, this, okay, so the uh, this PCB, the main PCB here slides into the grooves in the case. Groovy, baby. Um, and that is an Arduino. Uh, so yeah, that's an Arduino controller here. Um, and basically there's a, there's a, there's a header. Uh, and this header, uh, has the USB-C charging for the lithium ion battery. The battery is a 500 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt lithium ion cell. There's really not a lot in here. That's a, that's just a, sorry, just sort of switching backwards and forwards here. But yeah, that's just a standard OLED type display. Um, what I'm keen to understand is where is all the radio gubbins? I was expecting to see a tin cans in here with loads of radio circuits underneath them. Uh, but strangely, there aren't any of those. There's just a bunch of chips in here. This is absolutely boggling my mind. Um, there are one, two, three, four chips in here and an Arduino controller, um, a display. I mean, no wonder they can make this for 18 quid and a battery uh, and a BNC connector, you know, and basically everything is built straight onto PCBs and there's a little bit of aluminium enclosure. And this stuff is just ridiculous. How on earth does this work? There must be, there must be a chip in here. There must be a chip in here that's a radio chip of some description or another. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, I, I, I can't get over uh, the lack of technology in <laughs> or the lack of visible technology. Clearly, this has got some really cool stuff in it. But yeah, there's just nothing. There's just nothing in there that's, that says that screams radio. Uh, so yeah, the antenna comes in here. Um, and that's just, yeah, it's just a standard sort of PCB 90 degree right angle BNC connector. Um, it's got to be, it's got to be this set of chips, one, two, three, four chips, and then an Arduino controlling them. Absolutely incredible. Wow, you have blown my mind, guys. Whoever designed this, uh, high five. So this has been designed by PU2CLR, I think it is, written on there. Fabulous. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope this has been interesting for you to see. For 18 quid, this device, in my most humble opinion, is absolutely well worth it. Take care, have a wonderful week and weekend, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers and beers, folks. Bye for now.